What's going on, everybody? It's Popular Video Games here, chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Superman and Batman coming into the Flash Season 3. Now, I've already been making prediction videos on my channel. Go check that out. Now, you can check them out all through the channel. I do one every other day, possibly every three days. So, make sure to stay tuned for the next one. Now, let's get into this. What was the whole purpose of Batman and Superman in the Flashpoint? Batman was the guy that helped Barry get his powers back. Superman, they had to get him in order to actually try to stand a chance against the overwhelming armies of Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Since Aquaman and Wonder Woman are not going to be in here, there would be no need for Superman. That and there's going to be a semblance to Batman, but it's not going to be Batman. It's going to be Robert Queen. Remember, Batman in Flashpoint was the father of Bruce. So the Batman of the CW would have to be Arrow, literally. For one, he's a guy who just uses technology, doesn't have any superpowers, he's a billionaire. You know, Arrow really was a symbolist for Batman for a long time, and the CW is going to utilize that in the Flashpoint Season 3. It's going to be Robert Queen as a new Arrow. Whether or not he's an opposition to Barry, or he actually helps him along, is to be seen. Man, where did you come from? Now, Robert Queen becoming the Batman of that universe. Now, remember, Thomas Wayne was using guns, Batman didn't. All of use arrows and such now will thomas queen use guns because he's an older gen i truly believe that's why thomas wayne was using those guns because he was way older than bruce being his father and such he wouldn't have the mobility as he once had so he would need guns like that now robert queen could be something similar to that i like i said i made a flash series prediction for every episode now that was talking about he was using arrows and he was a little bit mobile more mobile than thomas wayne mainly because of his connections with these advanced technologies which he had in his suit now robert queen was always evil so he's probably going to keep that same premise remember the whole premise of thomas wayne becoming batman his wife was joker his son killed in front of him made him become batman now with robert is going to be oliver was killed on that raft instead of robert so then robert became the green arrow he basically took the place of oliver on the island and such like that now remember the reason why robert killed himself was so his son could live and he really felt so guilty about everything he did with his son dead he will have no reason to hold back and then he becomes evil arrow the one who is trying to fund the metahuman war there's going to be a war a metahuman war honestly a war in general was always a premise of flashpoint you can't have flashpoint without a war because you have to think there has to be something so terrible that barry has to go back in time that's the whole premise of flashpoint now i have two people that would be perfect for superman's premise now it would have to be supergirl and firestorm supergirl because of the time boom remember that's what professor zoom said in flashpoint you create a sonic boom you then you created a time boom breaking the time barrier now that time barrier is going to cause a rip at supergirl's world she's going to remember that's what barry went into now she's going to be drawn to it once she goes into it because the timeline is completely screwed up it's going to screw up her memories causing her to fall to the ground her memories getting rewritten is basically the same equivalent to getting hit with a psychic blast she's going to be out for a while she's going to get found by this military facility they're going to see that she is stronger than she is then they're gonna keep her in the area outside of the sun because it's gonna be an underground facility come on that's where superman premise come from the whole underground facility now she's down there now she has a little bit of memories here and there but she cannot activate her powers because her power is fueled by sunlight take that yellow sun away and she can't activate her powers now let's get into firestorm now why include firestorm remember superman's whole premise was a very powerful individual that could turn the tide of battle that is firestorm now it's most likely going to be played by ronnie instead of Jax, mainly because in this one after the whole particle accelerator explosion ronnie and martin stayed fused but the army facility captured them instead and then put them in a i'll say energy draining source a continual source of energy that's basically the premise of this and that was also in flashpoint someone who was a continual source of energy a living energy and that could be something that firestorm was now professor wells 
could be evil in this one or he could just be trying to find a cure to the whole meta human problem and he's working with the military that's how they're able to capture supergirl or firestorm they have the facilities because of harrison wells genius he also figures out what is going on with firestorm and why he keeps having bursts like that they managed to make him a similar type of device that he had before but it was only to be temporary a prototype to say now this was so he had to stay there even if he did escape he would need to get another one he could only get the actual one there yes you know how these shows go they make a real one for some fucking reason and they keep giving the guy the regular one but that real one is still going to be somewhere where he can put it on and just be fine it's going to be the actual one you know how these shows do things guys come on now that's how they're going to be able to capture a firestorm Superman's whole premise once again is just an individual who is so powerful he could turn the title war. The war in here is going to be the metahuman war. Metahuman versus human. That's going to be the whole thing. And you really saw a lot of that in the last episodes of season two of The Flash. You saw that with Zoom's army going completely crazy and ravaging the entire city. So the whole point of this video, there is not going to be a Batman or a Superman in the Flashpoint Season 3. There is just going to be their whole premise or a semblance of them. Like I said, Robert Queen, then you're going to have Firestorm or Supergirl. Now, if anybody in the comments write Gotham, I'm going to remove you. Fuck that show. Anyway, thanks again for watching. This has been Pop of the Video Games here. Peace out and talk to you later.